what's going on YouTube thank you so much for watching the video today so I just wanted to make this quick video the Sony ZV E10 is finally out and it's probably Sony's worst kept secret because everybody's been talking about this camera for quite some time there's been leaks there's been rumors there's been pictures released we knew about the specs more or less of what this camera is going to look like and feel like and function like I waited a little bit longer just to make sure that you know once the camera was released that I could comfortably talk about it because now we know exactly what the camera is all about so during dinner time obviously eating and then a bunch of videos were dropped at the exact same time so obviously Sony caught us a little bit off guard especially when they pushed back the the original release date a lot of the internal from the zv e10 is exactly like the zv1 just you know look it looks similar to like the a6000 series cameras with a little bit of a much more girthier grip compared to the zv1 so the basic stuff is it has 4k up to 30 frames per second it has 1080p up to 120 frames per second it shoots unlimited recording it has a flip out screen it comes in black it comes in white it has defocus mode it has product showcase mode it has face eye autofocus and it also has face priority auto exposure as well the same as the zv1 so on top of that it's also an APS-C crop sensor it's a lot bigger than the zv1 which is a one inch sensor and it's a whole lot bigger than obviously your smartphone so the zv e10 is definitely being marketed for the vlogging community and especially those that are trying to get into you know video creation uh, content creation that community is an ever-growing community at this point in time so it just makes sense a lot of empty level or people that are deciding that they want to make vlogging a career or at least attempt to make it a career they are obviously picking up their cell phones because that's the easiest thing to do and because of that i think you know the camera manufacturers are losing market share so that's also the other thing so they're trying to obviously push sales which is understandable because camera companies like sony is in business to make money so they need to obviously make something that is easy to use that is lucrative for anyone that wants to create video content and they're also looking at you know offering something that's a lot better than a smartphone if you are an avid camera user you are already within the sony uh, ecosystem this is not really something to write home about because there's nothing wonderful about these specs but for anyone that wants to get into video creation the ZV E10 is a low cost of entry for potential video creators and vloggers to get them within that ecosystem so the price in the states is $6.99 just for the body and with the kit lens it's $7.99 so that package alone is a lot cheaper than some of the other crop sensor cameras that are currently on the market so it's definitely lucrative for someone that just decided that hey listen here i'm advancing from using my smartphone as my main camera i want something that's a little bit higher quality and i want to break the bank when it comes to sourcing a camera and i want something that's easy to use and that is what the zv series basically presents any video creator that wants to create videos quick and easy not so complicated to use you know the world's opening up and everybody's traveling so it's still uh, quite a, a compact camera for travel vlogging so i spoke about the low cost of entry and i think when you buy the kit lens you have something basic to start off with but have you ever looked at the cost of sony lenses so even though the camera body is small and compact and it's got all of these nice features that a lot of sony users are already used to if you want to fully take advantage of the aps-c sensor you're going to have to invest in really good quality glass looking at the vlogging community you're probably going to look at something that has a nice wide aspect ratio in combination with the camera you'll probably spend about fifteen hundred dollars when you get yourself a nice wide angle lens these zv e10 does have 
electronic active stabilization. It's not IBIS. Once you activate that feature, you crop in. It kind of renders the whole vlogging experience a little bit useless. And the whole point with vlogging is simplicity, in my personal view. That's the one negative for me. The other one is the battery life. You'll probably get about an hour and a half continuous recording with, you know, when you record in 4K and you'll probably get about two hours at 1080p. But I don't think that when you're out and about and you're traveling and you're you know, moving between places that you would be recording continuously for that long. So you probably have like battery life for a lot longer, but I would advise if you're gonna pick up this camera, get yourself at least three extra batteries just in case. So as you can see that now you're gonna have to start looking at you know, buying additional accessories, buying additional lenses, buying additional batteries. So it does become a little bit expensive. And I'm trying to be budget realistic here, especially if you're moving from using your cell phone to, you know, wanting to go and get yourself a camera. You know, I'm trying to be realistic in that sense. Like for me, the ZV-1 is the perfect vlogging camera. I wouldn't go like with anything else other than what I have in front of me. But I can understand the appeal that the ZV-E10 presents to anyone that wants to get into vlogging. If you know exactly what type of lens you want, what the cost of the batteries are going to be. Outside of that, I mean, even the mic is a wonderful thing. If you are considering buying the ZV-E10, at least you have a good camera to start off with. If you are going to invest in Sony Glass, at least when you upgrade to a different camera or full frame centered camera or something like the FX3, all of those cameras use the same mount you can use the same lenses across the board. So, okay, what do you think? What's your first reaction with this camera? Are you a first time vlogger? You know, does the, the white design, is it attractive for you? Are you going for aesthetics? Are you a, perhaps maybe a camera owner and you wanna get your hands on this particular camera because it's less invasive than your A7S III? and you can vlog with it wherever. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I would love to hear what your thoughts is. Personally, I'm on a fence with this camera. I don't dislike it, so it's not revolutionary. But I think for someone that wants to up their ante a little bit when it comes to video creation, but they don't want the complexities of understanding everything in depth. The ZV series cameras, the ZV-1, the ZV-E10 is the perfect entry-level camera for someone that wants to get into something because you know they made it as convenient as possible. But it also has pro features at the end of the day like S-Log and HLG profiles if you wanna go into color grading. So you can shoot in those flat profiles. So there's definitely positives when you purchase this camera. You're not going to purchase it in vain. Thank you so much for watching the video. And please, if you liked the video, please, 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 please hit the, the thumbs up button because that helps me a whole lot, especially, you know, being a, a vlogger myself and starting, you know, I started this year. Uh, using my YouTube channel a lot more often. It would just help me if you just like even share it, you know, like it, comment, uh, engage with me. I would really like to know who is watching my videos. Well, uh, until next time, this is probably not going to be the last time we're gonna talk about the ZVE10, but you know, exciting times ahead, especially for those that are going wanting to get into, you know, video creation. Mm -hmm.